Just a couple triangles and some Tetris-shaped pieces, and nothing weird's going on here. Oh my goodness, where'd that missing block come from? Is this an optical illusion? Would we count this as an optical illusion? This is my implementation of a classic mathematical puzzle. Uh, it's in Desmos. You can check the description down below if you'd like to play around with the graph yourself. What is going on here as we rearrange these four different pieces? It seems like we are magically conjuring up a missing block out of nowhere. Whenever you're dealing with a puzzle like this, you want to ask yourself, what are my assumptions and how might those assumptions be failing? In this particular case, I'm assuming that this is a 5 by 13 triangle, that it is genuinely a triangle, and if I wanted to, I could even figure out the area of that triangle. Base times height divided by 2 gives us an area of 32.5, or at least that's the way it appears. When I rearrange the pieces, however, I'm looking at what appears to be that same 5 by 13 right triangle, which should have the same area, but is rather obviously missing a block. And so we would assume now, wait, is the area 31.5? If these are exactly the same shapes, if I'm not doing any shenanigans with the actual pieces themselves, which I'm not, these remain the exact same size the entire time, we can't have a figure that has an area of both 32.5 square units and 31.5 square units. This missing block has to be coming from somewhere. So let's go back to our assumptions and see where maybe we're going wrong. We thought this was one single triangle, but let's take a look at each of the individual pieces and see if they reveal something else. The Tetris-like pieces are probably the easiest ones to figure out because they're literally just made up of some number of blocks. Looks like seven blocks for for this orangish kind of shape, and then another eight blocks for this greenish kind of shape. And so that's a total of 15 blocks from the Tetris-like pieces. This red triangle has a height of three and a base of eight, and so its area would be eight times three divided by two, that makes 12. And then the blue triangle, two units tall by five units long, that would be an area of five times two divided by two makes five. And you'll notice something a little weird at this point. If we add up all of these areas. We don't get 32.5. We also don't get 31.5. Instead, we get a number right in between those two. 32. 12 plus 15 plus 5 makes 32. So it's not actually that we're missing a whole block. It's that initially we were overestimating our area by half a block. And then when we rearrange the shapes, we underestimate the area by another half block. Furthermore, these bases and heights now give us the only other information we need to figure out what kind of tricky thing is happening here. Here. Although initially this appeared to be a single right triangle with its hypotenuse being whatever it was, looking at the bases and heights that we've come up with now, we can tell that can't possibly be a single triangle. The red triangle has a hypotenuse with a slope that is a rise over run of up three over eight. Whereas the smaller blue triangle has a hypotenuse with a slope of up two over five, that is two fifths. Three eighths and two fifths, though they are very close together, are not actually the same ratio. In decimal notation, three eighths is 0.375, two fifths is 0.4. And so you can see why the looks are deceiving here, why it appeared like this was a single line, but actually isn't. They have slightly different slopes. If you watch just that vertex where the blue and the red Red triangles come together, you can kind of get a sense of why that matters. If you look here at that top right vertex for the blue triangle at basically 5 comma 2 in this little mini coordinate plane, when we shift the red triangle into place, you can see it goes slightly lower. If we zoom in a little bit, it becomes even more obvious that that red triangle is a little less steep than the blue triangle and that's where we are losing our half a block of area. If we were to really exaggerate this difference, it's as if that red triangle has a much shallower slope than the blue triangle. And again, whatever amount of area we are kind of coming in on the figure, going down into the left, that is the missing area that we were looking for. Again, this is one of my favorite math puzzles. It helps us examine our assumptions, things that we are assuming to be true, but that might not actually be true. And it also helps us illustrate the connection between things like slope and area, particularly for right triangles. There are other approaches you could take here. You could think of each of the right triangles simply as a vector and then figure out what's going on as you add those vectors together. But I leave that as an exercise for you, the viewer. If this has been helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I do stuff like this a lot. And otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Oh, and be sure to check out the Desmos graph if you want to play around with it. Link is in the description.